analytics is important. Knowing your users, what they're doing, what they're accessing, and how they're using the stuff you build is essential. But what if I told you over a third of your data is being lost, thrown away, never making it to you in your servers? There's a very, very high chance that's the case, especially if you're using tools like Google Analytics, Memento, Plausible, or really just any of the major analytics tools. When they report analytics, they're not reporting those analytics to your own servers. They're sending them to another server that is probably being blocked by an ad block if your users have those. My users are power users. They are hardcore Chrome nerds. And a very large portion of them have an ad block set up. Because of that, about half of the data for our users gets lost. That is not acceptable for us to have things that we need, things like user reports for bugs, things like events and what pages that they're going to. We need, at the very least, anonymized data on how our platform is being used in order to iterate on it, improve it, and just generally make a better experience for our users. And having that data all get thrown away is an unacceptable compromise. So how do we prevent that? Thankfully, you have one thing you pretty much certainly know will not get blocked, your own website. So it should be your goal as much as possible to make sure when tracking events and analytics occur on your site and in your application, that that data isn't sent through third-party servers like Google's analytics server directly. Rather, it's being forwarded through a domain, ideally a path on the same route that you own. So what does that look like? Well, to just quickly draw out a URL example, let's say this is ping.gg. And you want to use Google Ads or uh, Google Analytics. Google Analytics is probably going to report to a URL like analytics.google.com slash some random stuff. Rather than that, because this is trivially blockable, even if you go to the analytics page on Google, you'll get ad block just pinging everything. Sometimes it'll even error out because of how hard it is. Uh, I hate to use the word destroying, but like eating that data. However, if you instead have ping.gg slash API slash event, and then you forward this to analytics.google.com slash whatever you want, that will actually work. And it'll be significantly harder for an ad block to prevent that. So how do we make this happen? There's a lot of different solutions. The first one that I want to talk about is probably the best one. There's a few services, in particular Plausible. Uh, I will quickly go to the Plausible site because I love these guys and I want to shout them out. Oh, that's going to show my actual dashboard. That's fine. We will edit that out in the video. Plausible is a fantastic analytics provider for quickly setting up a GDPR compliant analytics like tracker on your site just to see how many page views you're getting, what the like events look like on a given route, where users are coming from, stuff like that. It's a fantastic super quick way to set up analytics and it's entirely self-hostable if you want to host it on your own servers. You don't have to, they provide a cloud solution, but it is a very simple fully GDPR compliant way to get analytics about how your like applications and user sites are being used. So how does this get around that problem? Isn't their service going to get ad blocked all the same? Well, it did. However, next plausible. I bet this will just come up with Google search it. It will. Next Plausible is a very clever third-party package that I think a lot of analytics providers need to look into and build similar things. Because the really clever thing it does, if I go to the index TSX here, is they actually create redirect URLs in line. So if you wrap your next config with, with Plausible Proxy, it will add some additional rewrites that redirect the source to a different destination. And that source is, funny enough, slash API slash event. <laughs> because of that, we can now post to our own URL slash API slash event, and it'll be much harder for an ad block to catch that as a thing that it should be blocking. And then once that's on your server hitting that rewrite, you send it off wherever you need to send it off. There are lots of other packages and solutions for this as well. One more I want to shout out. This is a more generic is Data Unlocker. Data Unlocker is dope because it sits on the website, watches for packets that fail, 
And then it does some pretty crazy things. I don't know how well documented they are at this point. It is based on an open source project. But the, the TLDR of how it works, if I... Do they even say in the docs anymore? Uh, they... Oh, how Data Unlocker works. Cool. So with Data Unlocker, you usually set up either a custom like path on your server or a different subdomain on it. When we were doing the subdomains, we found those kept getting blocking. So we moved over to the, or kept getting blocks. We moved over to the path solution instead. And the path solution is just significantly harder to block. When Data Unlocker sees a request fail because it was blocked on the client side, it takes that request, it bundles it into like a GIF or some other harder to detect thing, and then posts it to your own endpoint, which gets proxied via Data Unlocker back to where it was originally supposed to go making it significantly harder to detect when those things happen. Really cool little service that makes it significantly easier to not think about these problems and just have your data come through. And the pricing is totally reasonable as well. I saw somebody bringing up Fathom. Uh, is the link there for me to quickly grab? It is. Because Fathom also has a custom domain solution where you're able to make, in their words, one simple DNS edit and you're good. I don't think it's quite as simple as they're implicating there, specifically because, as I mentioned before, the data, like when you put a subdomain, those can get blocked if your site gets any meaningful amount of traffic. Someone will sit there, see it, that's where it is, and block it. It's very easy to get around those. However, the path rewrites when you're using something like a Next.js server, basically impossible to work around, especially if it's a path that's being used for other things. Uh, what was... There was other details in this one. If I go to the custom domains guide, they have you generate like a named one. So it's less likely. <laughs> yeah, these will get blocked pretty hard. On the off chance, bitch, this happened to me like seven times. <laughs> yeah, I this is a cool strat, but it's not good enough. Fathom's cool, but I don't think that's going to do everything you need it to. That said, there's no reason that Fathom's solution wouldn't work in tandem with Data Unlocker if you had this as like a second level like or uh, redirect basically on top. And if you're using Segment, you can modify Segment to point all your traffic through a local domain as well, or you can use Data Unlocker and just have it do it for you. All of these options work. I've used all of them for different things. I am using multiple of them at the same time right now. And I've had to do my own custom patch packages and rewrites to do things like make LogRocket send the data to the right place and not get blocked. So sadly enough, intimately familiar with all of these solutions. And as such, I cannot confidently say any one is the guarantee. Do this and you're good. But generally speaking, you want to make sure that the, the pipe that that data is going through is one that you own so that it's a lot harder for that to get blocked. Anyways... I hope this was helpful. Analytics is hard. If this video does well and y'all liked it and you want me to talk about more analytics stuff, please leave a comment letting me know. Ask more analytics questions. Let me know what you do and don't get about the topic. I feel like analytics is generally an undercovered and appreciated thing. And it's super important once your application starts doing well and even to know if your application is doing well. So if y'all want to hear me talk about analytics more, please let me know and I'll be sure to do it. Also, Nowhere near enough of you are subscribed on YouTube. It's still well under half. Make sure you hit that sub button if you haven't yet, because it helps me in the algo a ton. And like the video. That was a great rant. I hope this is helpful for y'all. Make sure you stop losing all that data, because some of your best users are using Adblock, and you're not seeing things that are important. So get that fixed. Thanks, y'all.